Do you have a niche website? Doing keyword research is extremely important to make sure you are targeting all the topics under that niche to drive the most traffic and sales to your website. In this video, I'll teach you how to do proper keyword research for those websites. So let's get started. When I do keyword research for niche websites, I use Keywords Everywhere. So this is a browser add-on to help you with keyword research. So you can install Keywords Everywhere for Chrome and for Firefox. So make sure you have this installed. And the next step is just to list out our main seed keywords, the main keywords that our niche website will be talking about. So I'm gonna open up an Excel document and just list out my seed keywords. So let's just say we have a yoga niche website and we wanna publish articles dedicated to the topic of yoga. So some of my main keywords would be yoga poses, yoga mats, maybe this is an affiliate website, so yoga mats would be an excellent keyword to rank for, to promote different yoga mats. And if you want more ideas for seed keywords, or if you are stuck, what you can do is just search for your main keyword and try to get some ideas in the Google search results page. So as I scroll through here, one thing that stands out to me is things to know. So you could see purpose, practices, types, benefits. So these could be all excellent seed keywords. I really like types and benefits. So I'm gonna add those two in my seed keywords list. Yoga types, yoga benefits, and so on. Now that we have our main seed keywords, the next step for us to do is to use Keywords Everywhere to find the long tail terms for each one of these seed keywords. So the main goal for the niche website is to create content that targets all types of topics under the yoga niche. So to do that, we need our main keywords and then we need the long tail keywords. So let's start with yoga benefits. So we are gonna Google yoga benefits. So we did that right here. Keywords Everywhere gives us some very helpful widgets on the right-hand side. I like to focus on the widgets with the keywords in them. You can see there are eight related keywords around yoga benefits. You could see the monthly search volume here. Now keep in mind, this data comes from the Google Keyword Planner. You can also see the average cost per click. Now this is for Google Ads and the competition score for Google Ads as well. And you could even see the trend. So this mini bar graph will show you the exact search volume every single month over the past year. You can also see there are six keywords people also search for when they search for yoga benefits. You can see there are a list of 29 keywords that are long tail. Now, speaking of long tail, I want all the long tail keywords for yoga benefits. So I'm gonna scroll all the way to the top and click on this button right here, find long tail keywords for yoga benefits. When I click on this, Keywords Everywhere will give me all of those long tail keywords. So it found over 500 long tail keywords for yoga benefits. You can see the list of the long tail keywords here. You can see the search volume, average cost per click, the competition score, the trend over the past, uh, year and also the trending percentage. So what I'm gonna do is copy this. You can also uh, save this as an Excel document, CSV, PDF, or print it. I'm gonna go to my Excel document, create a new tab and paste. Now I have the over 500 long tail keywords for yoga benefits. You can see their monthly search volume and so on right here. What you can do now is analyze this list and make note of the ones that you may want to possibly create content around. So our niche website will definitely have a page around the benefits of yoga. That could possibly be our pillar page. Maybe it's one of the links in our main navigation. So I'm just gonna highlight this. Uh, green, and we can go through this list and highlight the ones where we think we can potentially create a subcategory page around or maybe even a blog article. Hot Yoga Benefits is a good one. It has over 6,000 uh, monthly searches. We can possibly create a category page, subcategory page, or a blog article. So I'm going to highlight this one. Yoga Benefits for women, for men, those are excellent. We can create blog articles for each of those and just follow the same process as you go down this whole list. If you don't want to analyze the list in Excel, you could always analyze it 
within keywords everywhere. And if you want to save them, just click on this star icon and these keywords will be saved in your favorites list. And I'll show you that in a moment. So next we are going to search for yoga types. So this is another one of our seed keywords. So I'm going to click on find long tail keywords for yoga types and keywords everywhere found over 600 long tail keywords. So we can go through here, analyze this list of keywords. And if you think these keywords are a little too broad, what you could do is click on this checkbox to only list out strict exact match terms. So now this list of keywords might be a little bit more relevant for you. So different yoga types, yoga types for breathing, yoga types explained, hot yoga types, and so on. So you can star them or you can just click on copy, go back to your Excel document, create a new tab, and paste. Now we have all the long tail keywords for yoga types. So we can potentially create a pillar page around the different yoga types and maybe add it to our main navigation. And then we can create individual blog articles or subcategory pages that target these long tail keywords that are relevant for us. Now, speaking of yoga types, we can do keyword research for each individual type. So here's what I mean. For example, vinyasa yoga, that's one of the yoga types. So you can click on find long tail keywords and keywords everywhere found close to 600 long tail keywords for vinyasa yoga. So what I'm gonna do is click on copy, go back to my Excel document, create a new tab and paste it. Let's take a closer look here. Vinyasa yoga poses. So we can create an article talking about the different vinyasa yoga poses. Vinyasa yoga benefits. So that's another great article. Vinyasa yoga for beginners and so on. So we are just gonna keep following this exact same process. So once you are done with this keyword research, you can create pages targeting all of these keywords and your niche website will be extremely thorough in the eyes of Google and your users. You have the potential to drive more traffic, more sales and rank higher in Google and ultimately grow your business. Now, lastly, let me show you the keywords everywhere favorite keywords list. So if you click on the keywords everywhere extension, click on my favorite keywords, all the keywords that I've starred will be listed here. Now you can copy this and then paste it on a Google uh, spreadsheet, Excel spreadsheet to analyze at a later date. So this is how I do keyword research for my niche websites. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you wanna check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.